In Frederick, Maryland, Harry Grove Stadium is more than just a place where baseball gets played. It's a source of pride for the city and its mayor, Michael O'Connor. And when we got minor league baseball 30 plus or minus years ago, that was another step in, in Frederick establishing itself with uh, an identity that was separate from just being a suburb of Washington, D.C. In 1989, the Frederick Keys debuted as a minor league team for the Baltimore Orioles, and Frederick debuted as a city on the national stage. Now all of a sudden on a Fox telecast or an ESPN telecast, the name of our community is getting mentioned because one of these players passed through our streets and played in our stadium. 30 years of future Orioles stars earning their stripes with the city earning its stripes alongside them until December of this year. Now that has changed and we're now joining the all new Major League Baseball Draft League. Keys General Manager Dave Zidelis said on December 9th, the Orioles dropped Frederick as a minor league affiliate. And that didn't just happen to Frederick. That same day, Major League Baseball pulled the mat out from under 39 other cities, part of a minor league restructuring. Not having uh, affiliated minor league baseball in Frederick um, is, di is disappointing. Zydellis says Major League Baseball didn't leave Frederick out in the cold. Harry Grove Stadium will now instead host a draft league team. Now we have the ability to have players in any given year that could be drafted by multiple Major League organizations. So there is still that opportunity. So next season, baseball will be played again in Frederick. Just not the same connection to the majors the city used to have. So I want to look at the glass as being um, half full. Um, because we have to take the cards that have been dealt to us and we have to play them the best way that we can. It's all Mayor O'Connor says they can do when major changes to the minor leagues hit close to home. In Frederick, Matt Gregory, WUSA 9.